So let's talk about dealing with anxiety through the lens of human design. Part of what we are going to be learning about and working on in the Restful Hustle Academy is energetic awareness and energetic mastery. Because when it comes to the, when it comes to human design, a lot of what I deal with with my clients is how do I start to listen to my authority? How do I hear it? Right? Because a lot of the times we're stuck up in our head. And the fact is, when you're up here, you're not in your body and you don't have access to that wisdom. So how do we get from our mind into our body? That's what we're talking about in this video. Hello, if you are new here, my name is Ebony. I'm a human design reader, expert, and coach. And today we're gonna to be talking about the three energetic states, which I will be teaching about in depth in my Restful Hustle Academy. So if you are interested in learning more about this, go ahead and click the link in my description box and join me in the Academy. So firstly, what are the three energetic states? The three energetic states is a concept that I actually learned from my coach, Samantha Skelly. And it's essentially our three modes of operation, right? These are the states that we flow in and out of throughout the day. And we stay in more, we stay in some states more than others, essentially. So what are those three states? Number one is the structured mind. And if you see me looking down, it's because I have notes. <laughs> so the first state is the structured mind. This is the intellect. This is, you know, up here, it's the chaos, it's the judging, it's the comparison, it's the labeling, right? It's the rigidity and the scarcity of our mind. This is where we have things like anxiety. So where we have things like analysis paralysis. People who have undefined or open crown and Aja centers probably experience this a lot more than people who have defined crown centers and Ajnas, but it's the same state. It's being so stuck up in your head that nothing else can get through and you can't hear anything below, right? So you're just, you're so identified with your thoughts. You're so in your head. And because you're so in your head, you're so attached to the external world. There is no awareness of the body. There is no awareness of the internal sensations that are going on, on the of the conversations that are happening in here where the wisdom is. So it's not embodied, right? We are not engaging our systems and we don't have access to the wisdom of our bodies. We don't have access to our authorities, right? Even if you have a mental authority, being up in your structured mind is not where you have the most clear guidance, okay? So the second energetic state is soft mind. This is a little bit more embodied. This is where there's less attachment to the external world and there's more awareness of the internal. We're still aware of, you know, the intellect, the mental stuff that's going on. We're still aware of the thoughts, but we're also in the body. We're kind of aware of the things that are going on in here, right? This is when those um, like those systems and that circuit that circuitry starts to turn on. This is where we start to feel, okay, no, may, maybe I do have an intuition. You know, maybe, maybe I have felt this before, right? Everything becomes a little bit more clear. It becomes a little more soft, a little more relaxed. We kind of drop out of, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I should do everything. Oh my God, there's so many, there's so much to do. And it's like, okay, this is happening. This needs to get done. Cool. Okay. This needs to go. Okay. It's, it's almost a slowing down. So it's not a complete stop, but it's like, hmm, okay, there's something here, right? I can feel this. There's less of an attachment to the external because there's more of an awareness of the, of the internal, the sensations in our body. We're becoming aware of that, right? And then the most integrated, the most embodied state is the third energetic state, and that is embodied awareness. This is when we have completely anchored down into our body. We're no longer in the structured mind. We're not identifying with the thoughts at all. We're not pushing the thoughts away. We're just allowing them to be, right? So we're not latching onto them. They're kind of just floating around and we're watching them, but we're not attached to them in any way. We are integrated. We are embodied. We are in our physical form. We're looking 
out from our eyes. We have the sensation of, I am in this body and I'm looking out right now, right? This is where you have the most access to your authority, where you have the most access to the wisdom of your body, to what actually are these sensations trying to tell you? What actually is the most aligned thing for you to do in the situation? This is where knowing is just like this. Because when you're listening to your authority, the difference between listening to your authority and listening to your head is that the head, the intellect, likes to make things a conversation. It's like, we should do this because of this and this and this, this and this. With your authority, it's like, yes, or no, or we don't want that, or that we're not the kind of person who does that. It's, 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 it's not a conversation, right? It's do this, don't do this. This feels right. This doesn't feel right. There's no, your authority isn't gonna have a conversation with you, but your mind will. But when you are embodied, when you're in embodied awareness, when you're fully integrated, you're not listening to the conversation. You're not listening to the chatter of the mind. You are in that wisdom. You are completely connected to your authority. And the conversation is just like, no, we're doing this, period, right? So from this space, from embodied awareness, this is where we're able to heal. This is where we're able to learn to trust. This is where we can hear the wisdom of our authority, where we can hear and sense the wisdom of our bodies. And this is where you start to really deepen your trust, your certainty, your ease, and your flow, especially when it comes to making decisions, especially when it comes to what needs to happen next. So when you're learning human design, when you're trying to figure out, how do I do this? How do I listen to my sacral? How do I listen to my spleen? You wanna come out of structured mind. You wanna move into soft mind. You kinda of wanna live in soft mind, right? And then anchor down into embodied awareness whenever you need that wisdom. You don't wanna pop back up into structured mind. The structured mind does not have the answers. You wanna come down, down into embodied awareness. Structured mind is for danger. <laughs> structured mind is for flight or flight, right? You wanna stay in soft mind and you wanna anchor down into embodied awareness whenever you really wanna make an aligned decision. This is something that I, I teach extensively about in the Restful Hustle Academy. We're gonna figure out exactly how to do this. You're gonna learn all the practices that I personally use to get myself into this state. So if you are interested in learning more about this, if you are interested in learning more about the Restful Hustle Academy, then I urge you to click the link in my description box and join us inside. I will leave my Gates playlist for you in case you haven't seen it, and I will see you in the next video.